from Someka. Today in the scan at the stage heatmap generator video, I wanna show you how to create your own heatmap within a few minutes. I will introduce you all part of the heatmap and let me show you what I mean but before that, if you need some assistance from the page, you can follow our instructions by clicking turn on here or read without instructions if you are comfortable. Let's see the explanations of the sections. The first section is heatmap. After receiving your information from data section on the right, you can display your data in here. Second part is data section. We have placed the population data and the abbreviations of the states just as an example. You will change bio. Copy data from another Excel sheet or in manual here. And this part is where you can type your title here. Lastly, in the settings section, it's all about how our heatmap is look like. Let's dive into each of them. Under color palette, we have defined five color densities to here. These colors are indicated by your value limitations. For example, the red one in here indicates higher value of your data and this one indicates lower value of your data. But if you want to set different color on the heat map, select one of the cells, go to home tab and change it from this box. In color and legend settings part, you can change the color of background and the state borders. You have three options here, white, black and gray. Also, if you do not have data for some states or when the data is not range of the limitations, you can paint a gray for example. About legend display, you may want to show or hide the legend information on the heat map like this. You can change it from this drop. It's your choice. Last part is about text settings on the heat map. When you click no text, you won't see anything on the heat map, just the colors and the state names will show you the names of the heat map. When you click display text, you will see the your text part of the heat map. Lastly, the text size allow you to change font size of the text. Now let's go a practice here by doing together step by step. I will just go enter Excel workbook that I have been working on. These are the Canada GDP rates of 2016 that I would like to use for my heat map. Actually, I've sorted them alphabetically so that easily this rates use them. Now, I will copy off them and paste here as a value to prevent any confusion about data. About color density, I should define my value limits, but before that, I will go my own sheet again because I calculated my minimum and maximum values here before to set limitations according to these data. Again, I will copy off them and paste here as a value again. After that, I will come in here and customize a little bit. Select red one and select gray border color. And I will use abbreviations of the states. Now ready to paint them. Here, last view of the heat map. As you see, my new heat map is colored according to my current values and the borders are black as I do. In addition to this, we have a button here that says export as a PDF. And when I click on that, it takes me to page where I can print the final view of the heat map for my reports or slide. As you can see here. Lastly, you can make some customization on the heat map also. All the state shapes are editable, but before I'm gonna go to the view section, click unprotected, you will be warned like this. Write here your password. About password, you will receive via email after download process. Now, I can move aside, resize it, and paint blue for example. Also, I can copy this shape to my PowerPoint slide, Excel workbooks, or web files. With this ready to use template, you will summarize your data with a nice visual way. Thanks for watching and do not forget to check our other templates from Someka website. Thank you.